Hey everyone, it's Krishi here and this is the second video of Java Project and if you were excited about this then just hit the like button and let me know and yeah the first video is already uploaded if you didn't watch it the link is in the description box please click it to watch that video. Now let us start. In this video we have to calculate loan. Now you take a loan from a friend and need to calculate how much will you owe him after three months. And we are also going to pay him 10% of the remaining loan amount, which is an interest. 10% is the interest in it. So this is a sample input and sample output. But as we know, amount is taken as an input by the computer. So we don't know what amount it is. Now let's see the month schedules over here. Out of 20,000, the payment of one month is 18,000, which is 2,000 is the interest for 20,000. And yeah, that is as simple as that. Let us start. Now, how many months are we taking the loan for? Yes, we're taking it for three months. So, in months will be equal to three. Let's end the statement and go down. Now we're going to use the for loop right here. So for, for loop is used in a different way in Java, not as same as in Python. So int i is equal to, I'm sorry, i is equal to 0. Now why 0? I'll just tell you, wait please. i will be less than the amount of months. Now, why less than the months is because i is if if i is more than three, then we are gonna not know the exact value which we need for month one, month two, and month three. Now, the computer, if we just don't write the next statement, we'll just find out the value for month one, month one, and month one. This is because we have not stated that. After 1, we have to switch to 2. And after 2, we have to switch to 3. So how are we going to do that? Yeah, we're going to just write i++. plus plus. Now, what is plus plus? Yeah, double addition symbol states that it is an increment. It will increase the number by 1. For example, i is taken, by, taken as 1. Then, after this, two statements are executed. It will be incremented, it will have an increment and it will become 2. And that will go on until we reach the final month which is 3. It will not increase it after 3 because we have already stated that i is less than months. Now let us continue. Okay, we have to give a colon right here. So, amount is equal to amount star 90 by 100. And now, this is the new amount. And why 90 by 100? Yes, because 100 minus 90 is 10 as we know. So, it is in short amount into 10. We don't take directly 10 because it will not get as it will not output the interest. Now let us go down and this will be the last sentence of this code. So we're going to print here system dot out dot print ln and we're going to print the amount because we want to know the amount which we owe to him after three months. So printing amount will be the last step and let's just run the code and check the output now. So guys that's the output and we actually made a mistake over here. We need a space after this uh, semicolon and another mistake which we made is giving a semicolon here. This is a for loop so we need not give it a semicolon. And yeah let's see the test case now. 
if you have taken one lakh from your friend after some time after reducing the interest of three months you have to pay him 72,900 rupees and in the test case two if you have taken 5 lakh from him, then you have to pay him 3,64,500 where interest is not calculated. Like, sorry, where interest is calculated. So yeah, that's all for today's video. And yeah, if you are also excited for the upcoming videos and want to know where they come, then just subscribe to my channel and also press the notification bell. So bye for now.